The time has finally, finally, finally come. What is up, pal fam? Welcome to the last day of Countdown to Feeding 100. And happy International Chess Day! <laughs> yes, that's right. Today is finally International Chess Day. And at the same time, International Chess Federation, or FIDE, 100th year. So, very, very big happy birthday to the International Chess Federation finally turning one century old or 100 years and I'm so happy like I feel I'm just like very very crazy when I when we finally made it we finally finished it all on the countdown to PD100 and we finally reached the end of it we're about to reach the end of it here at the countdown to PD100 and we're celebrating it. So before we begin, I'm gonna give I'm gonna have a quick message to the International Chess Federation in three, two, one. What is up, Fide? Happy birthday and I can't believe you finally reached one hundred. I know one hundred is one hundred years is a long long way that you've reached so far, like wow. I would have been like I cannot still believe it that you can you've reached 100 and thank you for making chess accessible for everyone and I'd say like please please um um I don't know what to say but please let's make chess more accessible and let's make the world a chess board and as you said the game is just beginning and yes um I'm like so involved on trying to count down from one from 100 days up until now, but that was absolutely crazy to see you turn 100 years old. So once again, happy birthday, Fide! Happy birthday, International Chess Federation, and happy International Chess Day! All right, that's my quick message for the International Chess Federation. I haven't. I haven't made that much, but yeah. And if you're still watching this video, we haven't begun yet because today is International Chess Day and FIDE is inviting all of us, the entire team, the PAL fam, and everyone in the world to join FIDE in celebrating International Chess Day by playing most, by playing as many chess games as possible because we, yes we, Pow fam, the FIDE, and everybody else around the world is is joining is joining to 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 grab the Guinness World Records title of most chess games played in 24 hours. And if you most chess games played in 24 hours, and if you haven't played yet, go play now. You can find it out on 100.fide.com/gwr, and you can just or you can just simply play online, play as play as many games as you can. Not bullet, you cannot. Bullet games doesn't count. It must be at least three minutes plus two seconds increment. At least five minutes would work. So, play as many games as you can on chess.com, leeches.org, or FIDE Online Arena, or and all of those affiliated affiliated websites that joins the 100th anniversary. And you can, and for over the board, you can join, you can seek for the nearest event that will join the Guinness World Records attempt in your country or city. And the full list will be on 100.pd.com slash GWR and take part in it. So yeah, so get excited, play as many chess as, chess as you can, and let's make the world a chess board. Alright. Now to celebrate the International Chess Day, we're gonna take a look at this earlier this year, the a game between Norderbeck Abu Satorov and Parham Maksudlu. So there's no variations, and I'll go try no variations at the entirety of it because as of now, this is the most notable chess game. So we're gonna take a look at this, and 
figure out how am I going to analyze it all by myself. <laughs> Will I miss everything? We'll find out. The, the game begins with Nordibek goes with e4, and then Sicilian, and then knight f3, d6. What I've seen on game 10 of the World Championship in 2013 it was bishop b5, but there's no variation as I said in the entirety of it. Yeah, I see bishop b5, and then it can probably go here and here. All I can say is that it probably goes on to the, like that. Going back to the game, after d6 and then d4, c takes, knight takes, knight f6, knight c3, a6, nothing much, h3, e5. Seems like, for me, e5 is a bit and all, but there's something I can probably go on here, here, or here. It might be like something is like it's useless to, it's like you're making a useless move earlier by going knight, and this one, it's blocking the... <clears throat> blocking the bishop and then and then the bishop cannot go on here he can probably go on here to go for this and then try to castle that would work as well but the game goes with knight b3 bishop e7 bishop e3 bishop e6 queen f3 knight bd7 g4 h6 queen side castle okay as I said as I've heard about this, pawns already like exposing, exposing a bit for, for white. So he get so it's not recommended to like castle right now. So I think it's a good thing to like castle and then if let's see how are we going to move this way. Yeah, I can probably go queen d7 trying to to go for this target and no, I'm not gonna give up that queen. Um, oh, it's white's turn. I can just like try to develop and there we go and then it's gonna it's gonna probably like castle. I could say about that, but we don't know because I'm not a good player. I'm just an arena feed master. Going back to rook c8, the game continues with knight d5, knight f8, bishop d3, knight g6, rook h e1, knight d7, king b1, bishop g5, c4. Okay, c4 is quite of interesting for me I'm I'd say like the, the pros develop the pawn the con it's sort of like the king is exposed on these squares something like that and the good thing is you can just like go on here somewhere but I'm not quite sure I'm gonna probably like retreat if I'm going to move and then if he tries to take, I'm gonna take it with the rook because I need to make this knight needs to get more defended with this king. So I'd probably go to knight b6 and then he's is going to take takes and I probably go for queen e3 and I'll say queen c6 trying to attack this even though there's the bishop. So it's, I'll say I'll gonna try to lure it. So maybe if he tries to go bishop here. Oh, there's the rook as well. I'm um, going to try to get rid of this bishop and rook. Somewhere like that. The game continues with c4 and then castles. Bishop f1. Yeah. I think bishop f1 is a bit fine, but you can just go for bishop e2. And then if I try to take it, he can... I think it's not good to take this one because the rook opens. It's going to be an open rook file for black so I think a good one is to take it by here you cannot go on here because nothing protects it so I'd probably say knight to f6 but that's a double but that's a double pawn I say about that but yeah if I would say like knight knight b6 is also the one like let's just say <coughs> Knight b6 is also the one, but how can he just like if he tries to rook on here and then he's going to get more pressure on queen c7? So, and he cannot go on, he may go on here. All I can just say is this was the problem, and then, um, let's just say if he tries to take this, tries to take this, and he's gonna give up the queen, so that's a bad, that's not, that's no good. So, if he tries to take with this, I'm gonna go rook to c3. 
and he's going to try to take to attack on that there's the bishop cannot go here for now because of this knight and what else I'm um, probably queen h4 queen e4 rather I could it could work after all okay back to bishop f1 the game continues with knight h4 bishop takes g5 and if he goes wait I think h takes g5 continues the game for Parham Maxu Lu but I can say that if I go knight takes f3 and if I take that he gets the free rook and that means black wins the exchange yeah and if and you can just go king knight check and then king there um knight a5 I guess and then knight f6 knight d5 and probably is going to take this and I'm going to try to take that or oh yeah I think it's a good one because just to make the king go start on an end game but yeah I think bishop takes g5 is bad idea because the knight is going here and the knight is going here which is a problem so I think the safe one is queen g3 I'll say about that and then if he goes back I'm gonna go um there's nowhere near a safe for this so he has to move back and then knight h4 again if knight h4 is not safe he can probably go queen e2 at least this bishop can go here because there's a pawn right there or something like that okay let's go back to bishop takes g5 h6 g5 continues the game and then queen d3 knight g6 knight e3 rook c6 queen d2 b6 knight d5 a5 a4 knight f4 rook e3 g6 okay it probably stay going on yeah I think g6 is the one but the problem is a double pawn so if he goes on here knight takes I can probably go for this pawn and then I need to go move right here it will if it ever makes sense say and he cannot go on here because um here because he's going to take that and he's gonna need to move the rook away so that's a bad idea so I after gtf 4 if I would say i would say rook c3 I'll go for that and if you need more pressure I'm gonna go for pressure as well what want more I'll go for it and then if you need to try to defend this I'm gonna go for like knight f6 but that's not a, that's not a good one but yeah so there's no more safe spots um yeah okay back to knight c3 the game continues with knight f6 f3 king h7 knight d5 king g7 h4 bishop takes c takes rook c8 h takes knight h7 bishop a6 rook c7 rook c1 takes takes knight takes okay so so let's just let's take let's rewind all I can say is, yeah, taking this, that's a free pawn. To, but that's also getting rid of the double pawn for black. And then if knight h7, and then bishop a6 continues, rook c7, rook c1, rook takes, um, no, 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 queen takes, and knight takes g5. There's no more double pawn for this one. But... Let's just say if he just goes h5 instead. I think it's also a bad idea, but let's see. Okay. Um. Yeah, I think I'll go for knight uh, 96 again. Rook c7, rook c1. Queen takes, queen takes. Um, yeah. It's still a defeat on the on the exchange so h6 g, h h takes g5 is recommended knight h7 continues the game bishop a6 rook c7 rook c1 rook takes queen takes knight takes queen c6 knight g2 rook c3 knight e1 knight d2 rook h8 rook e3 rook h2 
Knight f1, knight t2, rook c3, knight b4, knight takes, wait, 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 I've got something. Okay, knight takes, and then knight c2, rook c3, knight b4, yeah, I think he doesn't have a choice. Rook h2, I think it's a mistake, I would say. Um, if he goes on here, I kind of need to, like, go back. And if, I, if I'm going to go for knight here, I'm going to, like, attack it again. No, no, no. I'm going to attack it again. Or maybe I'm going to go for queen, and the knight might be trapped. Which is a problem. Well... Sort of something like that. If we, if I go knight h4, what are we going to do? Bishop. I'm gonna go for this position for this. Something like that. I would say about that. Okay, going back, going back to rook h2. The game continues with knight f1, knight c2, rook c3, knight b4, knight takes. Whoa! Oh! Oh! Wait! That caught me off. Caught me red-handed. So rook c3, knight b4, and he takes the free rook, and he gives, and he give up the queen. If I would been playing, I would go different. I'm gonna go like maybe queen b5, and if he tries to go rook h3, I'm gonna go for queen e2. I would say about that. Wow. So let's go back to knight takes h2. So no choice. He gave up the queen and then knight e6, bishop c4, knight c7, knight f1, queen e8, bishop d5, b5, knight e3, b takes, rook c2, queen b8, bishop c4, a3, knight d5. Okay. Alright, knight d5. It's safe for now because the attack is on the b2. And if he tries to move, game over. Alright, let's see. Look at this. There's so many brown on there. If he goes here, checkmate. If he goes here, checkmate. So, no. B3 continues the game. And then knight B4, C7, queen H8, rook B2, queen H1, king A2, queen C1, rook H2, A4, G5, knight takes, rook F2, A takes. Okay. I think he's trying to go for a pass pawn right now. Right now, he's going now He's going for the pass pawn. And if... Yeah, a takes b3 and then bishop takes... Works as well, but... And then knight d2 continues. Sacrificing the rook. Queen takes. King takes a3. Yeah, I have an idea. What if we... I have a... Okay, let's just check. I forgot. Queen a5, bishop a4, queen a6. King b4. Yup. He still cannot go on here. Then king b4, queen b7, bishop b5, king h7... Bishop C, King C4, King G7, Bishop D7, Queen A6, King B3, Queen B7, King C2, Queen A6, C8 to Queen, King Queen E2, white. Yeah, if he tries to take it, it's over. I think white is going to win, thanks to that past pawn, and there's no more choice for this pawn to go on here. And it might like a big congratulations for white about to out for the past pawn. I would say about that. So queen e2 continues the game and then king b3, queen takes and queen g8. Yeah. Param Marshudlu resigned. There's no choice. He has to take this. And then if he tries to take it, I'm gonna take it back and then knight takes. So this is a this is a battle between three pawns and bishop and knight. And if he tries to go on here like yeah it's gonna be like getting taken over. He's going to take it. Um, probably if me and you have f5, I'm gonna go for an Um, I'm gonna go one here. Um, I'll go for there. And if he goes on here, no, it's a bad idea. And I'm gonna go like knight e7, king f8, knight takes. If he tries to. Okay. Um, e7, and then just over. 
It's over. It's gonna be winning for absolutely winning for for black. For white rather for white. Okay. It's finally finished. One hundred days of counting down to feed in one hundred has finally ended. I just want to thank everybody in the every pal fam that watches and tries and and like let's just say he's covering the entire games of like covering the best games of the, of every year and in just 100 days but that is absolutely crazy i just like recently started back in i just recently started back in ninth, in april 11 and then give me a while i'm so i'm still like speechless I just started back in April 11 after I got an idea when I was like eating dinner and then I was like searching how many days left before July 20 and it says more than 100 days but that that came my mind that I wasn't too late that was it I, I have an idea um think I mean cover the best games from every year 1924 to, to, to 2024 so I started Creating countdowns of feeding 100 and sometimes it go well, sometimes it didn't because I have no idea how am I going to analyze this because this vlog, I mean this channel is not intended to be a chess channel. I it used to be a it it is intended to be a gaming channel and all the stuff, but this is this vlog is full of like chess, gaming, and everything else. But soon enough, I mean, but soon enough it just became my habit for the next 100 days despite I have to go out uh, and play a national tournament in May 31 to June 8th I guess I still I just I just made count of the feed 100 ahead of time and it just gave me a good break I almost like tried to cancel it because I almost think of quitting the count of the feed 100 to personal reasons and all this stuff but I didn't I just didn't give up making count on the video 100 and look at me now we're finally finished 100 days 100 years and I just want to say how fam happy international chess day and once again let's join FIDE the International Chess Federation to grab the world record for most chess games played in 24 hours so yeah, let's play chess, either chess.com, leechess.org, or FIDE Online Arena. Let's do this. Let's do this, pal fam. Let's grab the Guinness World Records tile together. Together, all around the world. Let's make the world a chess board. As I'm going to, as I'm going to also join the International Chess Federation to beat the, uh, to, not beat, but achieve a Guinness World Record. I don't, I don't have that term. I don't know why, but yeah. Well, I'm gonna say about that, but let's. I'll just try to sing Happy Birthday to Fide. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Fide. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Fide, and happy. International Chess Day. May Fide have, um, may Fide have more years to come, for the next 100 years and beyond. That's this is absolutely crazy. A centennial year. I just I'm I'm literally part of history. We're part of history, pal fam. I'm so happy. But yeah, we're all we're all finished in this. We're finally finished. We finally ended this count of the Fide 100 with a full blast. And yes, I want to say thank you to all the Pal Fam for joining us from April 11 up until July 20. And yes, we're just coming up right now for more chess here at Pal Pal. And maybe in 2025, I'm going to change it to another name. And yeah, I'll be looking forward to it. And most of all, chess shorts are... Are now in development for now in development yes 
it's now in development and it's I I'm, I'm starting I'm going to start making chess shorts again and start making it as early and start like I'm gonna restart it on September 30 for now I'm going for September 31st I'll go for Septem September 30 so mark your calendars September 30 not exactly at 7 30 a.m. Join us every Mondays and Friday, Mondays to Fridays, every chest shorts and and I'm there's more to there's more to to look forward as well. The FIDE World Chess Championship between the world champion from China, Ding Liren, and the challenger, just 18 years old, Gukesh D. So get ready for that, and I'm going to broadcast it live. Straight from my home because Singapore is too far and it's too expensive. So yeah, I'll be looking forward to it, and we're gonna find out how it's going to happen. So yeah, um, it might be live. Um, I might start streaming it at the beginning of the game, but it it might be I'm going to start like a catch up stream, something like that. We may I may like start at the middle of the game, or maybe not at all. If the depend depending on what will happen right now? So yeah, we're we're gonna conclude countdown to Fidi 100, and yeah, thank you for watching the entire 100 days, and I'll see you back in Pow Place or in Mario Kart. So yep, yeah, I'll see you soon at Chess World by Paul Pow.